These notes are on using the unit circle. So the unit circle can allow me to find exact values, not estimates, not using a calculator, of special angles. So for instance, number one, sine of 30 degrees. So we know that sine is our y coordinate, and we know that 30 degrees is right here. So sine of 30, y coordinate, is 1 half. Tan 45 degrees. Well, we know 45 degrees is right here. We know that tan is y over x, and my y and x are root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2. Of course, the same number divided by itself is 1, so tan of 45 is 1. Cosine of negative 120. Well, the first thing is that we know that the cosine of a negative angle actually turns out to be the cosine of that angle if it's positive. And so now again I can look at my unit circle and I can go to 120 degrees. Cosine is the x and so the x is negative one half. Sine of negative 270 degrees. Well we know that sine of a negative angle is the negative of sine of that positive angle. We also know that sine of 270, sine is the x is the y coordinate, so the y coordinate at 270 is negative 1. So I have the negative of negative 1, which equals positive 1. Last example using degrees. We'll use some radians because it's nice to see us using both of them. You will have to. Um, is tan of 90. So again, tan is y over x. When I look at 90, my points here, my y is 1 and my x is 0. So it turns out that tan of 90 is undefined because I can't divide by 0. I can't take one cookie and split it among 0 people. It doesn't really make any sense. So now on to some radian examples. Sine of 11 pi over 6. So 11 pi over 6 is right here, it's 330 degrees. Sine is my y coordinate, so it's negative 1 half. Cosine of 5 pi over 6. 5 pi over 6 is right here at 150 degrees. Cosine is the x coordinate, so it's negative, three, negative root 3 over 2. Ah, you say 3 and then you write 2. Transposing the numbers. Root 3 over 2. Example 8, tan of 8 pi over 6. Um, the first thing I'm going to want to do here, though, is recognize that 8 pi over 6 is the same as 4 pi over 3. And I know that this is y over x, so I'm looking for 4 pi over 3. 4 pi over 3, it's 240 degrees, and it's going to be my y over my x. That's negative root 3 over 2, all over negative 1 half. If you remember, when I'm dividing fractions, I'm really multiplying by the reciprocal. My twos cancel, my negative times a negative becomes a positive, so the answer is root 3. Um, tan of 2 pi, remember tan is the same as y over x, 2 pi is at um, 0 degrees, 360 degrees, 0 pi, um, and our x and y are 1 and 0, so our y is 0 and our x is 1, so in this case tan is 0. And our last example, cosine of 9 pi over 4. Well, this starts getting into our coterminal angles because 9 pi over 4 is actually bigger because here we have 7 pi over 4. So this is 8 pi over 4, which means this is 9 pi over 4. And one way to simplify that is to recognize 
that I can reduce this to be 2 pi, 4 goes into 8 2 times, sorry, 4 goes into 9 2 times with a remainder of 1. So now I'm looking, and we know that cosine of 2 pi just gets me around the circle one time. So now I'm looking for the pi over 4, and I'm looking for cosine, which is the x, so root 2 over 2. Now, when I was in high school, we had to memorize these values. However, um, for all of these values, you can have a unit circle in front of you, but if you're not allowed to have a unit circle in front of you, it really is a matter of creating very little information. Um, if you reach the point where you recognize that, um, so, There are some key values. This is the point zero, so one, one comma zero. This is the point zero comma one. The point negative one comma zero. The point um, zero comma negative one, and then I'm back to one comma zero. That these are the really important points for my ninety, for my forty-five, forty-five. Um, I always have this point being some combination of root 2 over 2 um, as long as I pay attention to whether or not my signs are positive or negative depending upon which quadrant I'm in. For my um, 30 triangle, this is always going to be 1 half root 3 over 2 and again I'll have to change positive or negative depending upon the quadrant. For my 60, this is always going to be, um, oops, sorry, I just messed up the sign one. I mean the, the 31, I apologize. It's always going to be root 3 over 2 comma 1 half, and the 60 is always going to be 1 half root 3 over 2. And then again, I'm paying attention to the signs, what quadrant I'm in, and I'm paying attention to the fact that all of these xy's are cosine theta, sine theta. And so I don't need to memorize the unit circle in order to complete these problems. Instead, I can just memorize this. Um, and once I know this, then I don't need to, I can just rely on the fact that I can figure out what quadrant I'm in and I know whether or not I'm looking at cosine or sine or both for tangent functions.